Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another attempt at Hellion. And I say attempt because I have no idea how I'm going to survive this time. Uh, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Uh, i got to realize this isn't the same Hellion I'm used to uh, when the Rude Awakening update came out. Uh, it's, this is basically the starting scene. I was following the storyline, and so things are a little different than the starting scene we're used to, where we got our cryopod, uh, or uh, crew quarters, and then uh, it was the lifeboat in the airlock. We don't have that anymore. We have this piece of junk here. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to leave the quest going. And I may work on them as we go along. I'm going to let her talk, too, whenever she comes up. Just because. And I'm going to turn my light off because I need to save my power. And past the zero-G corridor. I should have my light on. I want to see if I can find anything at all. Yes, I need supplies. In particular, oxygen. And you know what? Let's, let's actually just skip the whole thing. Just because that's going to get annoying after a while. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and hold shift, open the door. Uh, what I was going to do, and I'm going to pause for this. Okay, never mind. Apparently there, there is no actual gamma setting. I'm just going to try to increase the brightness a little bit, but there's no settings here. Uh, and I don't think I'd have to go to actual main menu to check it out. But anyways, let's, uh, let's have a look and see what we have here. This time I'm not going to be in any hurry, because I know we're not in any immediate danger okay this one doesn't open yeah not all of them do no it's kind of hard to believe that they don't give you anything at all like absolutely nothing this is supposed to be an outpost where there were people but there was people and all I found has been a stim pack so I do have to go to the command module and call a ship uh, but first, where are those lockers? Okay, so I came in C. Alright, that goes outside. I'm not going to worry about that. Take the hacking tool, because we're going to need that eventually. And I'm not going to waste on the door again. Okay, we're not going to go upstairs. Uh, C is blocked, or A is blocked. And nothing in there. Let's go over to B. Oh, don't have to open that, because it's already pressurized. Depressurized. And probably nothing in here. Of course not. Oh. Yes. The lifeblood of this game. Oxygen. Mind you, if you don't have jetpack fuel, you're kind of screwed too. I think you can sort of move without the jetpack. Not very well though. Alright, and the other side should be blocked. So it's just a matter of going upstairs, calling our ship, and getting the hellion out of here. Okay, uh, this is where I came, I believe, yes. What's it? No, I don't think it was. That's right. If it is, then, oh well, if not, at least we checked again. Because you never know. Yeah, I'm going to assume I've already been here. Let's get the ship and get out of here. And waste some valuable, valuable oxygen and jetpack fuel and power and the whole shebang. Maybe we'll find something upstairs. Probably not. It's a shame we can't just take this station with us. And I don't think we actually can. Not that it matters. We've got no power. We have no life support. We don't have this. We don't have that. We don't have anything. We are a sitting duck. And nothing in here. Nothing in there. Nothing here. I do have to check because you never know. Now, uh, the whole jetpack thing is going to be a bit of an issue because I don't have any way to charge it. Because in order for me to charge it, I have to take it off. 
There's nothing in here, no. And I can't take it off if I don't have another jetpack to put on. See, I can charge it here, but then I die. And that's not good. Alright, well, let's go out, get the ship. And then what we're going to do is, I was checking out uh, in the last video when we went to the Gnosis command. Uh, there was other, like, probably at least 15 things in that area. So I have a feeling that's not going to get me out. That's not going to get me out. That's not going to get me out. Trial by error brings me to here. But yeah, there's other things like uh, damaged residential section and stuff like that. So I think we're going to go check that out. But first, before we go anywhere, we have to find that ship which probably just spawned in. Judging by a lag spike. And then we gotta go back to the the life support section and power section. Because we're not going anywhere without a warp cell. So this is gonna be the usual thing. I'll, I'll record until I actually get on the ship, see if we actually get any better spawns this time. See if RNG's been nice to us. And this time I don't have to worry about Wasting 10 minutes trying to figure out how to get into the ship when all I had to do was open the door. And I'll turn the light on for now. Whoa, that's bright. And let's try not to hurt myself. I love that shift. Alright, open that up, open that up, and just fly on in. We have no life support to worry about, so it doesn't matter. Okay, go in, get the power uh, solar panel out. Unauthorized access, of course. But yeah, I can come inside. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing here. I'll start you with that. It's nice to have resources, but we got no way to refine them. Just gotta check all the shit, all the shelves. You never know. All right, name this, and there we go. So let's hit the right button to run. And don't worry, I'll get out of the habit of that. Deploy that, and. So now I'm going to hop in here and I'll bring you back when we get to the, the modules. Okay, here we are. Uh, one thing I wanted to do too is uh, when I was trying to find the other, other thing there is I wanted to check increase my scan range to see if I can find anything. And that was apparently one of the reasons why I wasn't able to find anything on the scans themselves was the fact that uh, the scanner only goes a thousand kilometers. But anyways, let's go see what we can find in here. Let's see if we can find any goodies. I'm not gonna worry about anything on the outside right now because that's all stuff we need the fabricator for. And judging by the looks of it, it might be a while before I see the fabricator. I don't even have a lifeboat yet. Alright. So we'll go in and then I'll have the light on for now. Uh, which is the floor. I always get confused when I get these things. I think I would know this by now. And I think this is the floor. Hey, I got it right. I got steam in my face. Is there really nothing in here? Wow. I'm really sticking it to you. Oh. All over the place. Nothing. <laughs> Alright, then it's going to have to be in the power supply module. And I could probably find some ammo, but I don't care about ammo. It's going to take a little more than a pistol to take out the turrets, if I ever decide to go after them. Alright, where is the ship? Uh, let's actually just jetpack over there. Why not? Well, uh, it'd be nice if you had to actually add the velocity indicators. But that's what makes this game hard. It's like when people wanted auto docking. That's half the fun of it. The other half of the fun is uh, barreling towards a, a derelict at 20 meters a second, not, not realizing how close you are, other than what you see. I do have to make sure I don't get too far from the ship. 
But this should yield me a power uh, warp cell. And I left my light on. Oh, that's bad of me. Okay, let's slow her down. And grab on. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Oh, there's a warp cell. And a nanite core. We'll take that. And that. And see what else we had in here. See what else I missed. I know I got the resource container down here. That's a weird green color. I'm almost thinking I missed a uh, missed a section too when I came in here last time. I think I just went out and I didn't actually check the rest of it. So I'm gonna look around. More oxygen. Ooh, thank you. You're a lifesaver, literally. Okay. Let's see, I don't know. I can't remember if I actually went down this way. It's uh, no jetpack on the floor. It's a shame. I used to be able to find those things all the time, and now it's like they're so rare. Nothing. Okay. Let's go check in here quickly. And then get the hell in out of here. It's going to be the catchphrase this series, I think. Or this season, anyways. And nothing. Okay. So now i got to get back to the stereo. Oops. And I shall meet you there when I find my way back. Way over there. Okay, I'm back. I gotta admit though, that is a really cool effect. That's definitely the nanite cluster doing its job. That's really cool. Really expensive paint job too. Ow. Okay, let's get back in here. Did I not deploy the solar panel? Oh. Oh yeah, I'd made that same mistake last time too. Alright, so we have that in there, and then we got our systems up online. And then we go ahead and we'll drag that right in there. <sighs> I know, I know, I know, I'll get to it eventually. Anyway, so what's going to happen now is I go to the star map, and this is where I kind of misunderstood things here. So we have this station here, the Gnosis Ruins. But if I zoom in... I guess I actually have to be there. But yeah, there's like a whole bunch of different sections there. I don't think Scan is actually going to pick anything up, but we'll check anyways. Let's see what we have around here. Yeah, and this is just the three places we've been. Well, that's actually where we are now. This is the cluster, and then that was Constingency where we started. And then we have this place over here, the Gnosis Ruins. And I think we are going to go warp over here. And we'll just see what we have. So I will do that, and I will bring you back. Okay, we're going to be coming out of warp here in a second. I'm looking at this, and there's actually different tiers, right? Like we have the military one that I have in there now. So it has an overall health of 30,000 whatever that is, an armor of eight. The one I picked up has only has an armor of two, but it has a significantly higher health. And judging by the debris field, I'd say we're here. All right, so... Now, as far as I know, as long as there's no command module here, this should be safe. Famous last words, and that's where a save comes in. Uh, let me do that. Okay, that's been done. So now what do we have here? What's right in front of me? Uh, let's change the range back to 10. So let's bring her in a little bit. Uh, I've done a save. I'm assuming if there's turrets in that cargo bay that we're safe. Just because of the fact there's no command module. Yes, my heart stopped too. Don't worry, you're not the only one. Okay, let's uh, take the chance here. Oh. Sparkly lights. Oh, this is not good. You know what? I think we're going to use this ship as a shield. Ow. 
haven't done that in a while. Alright. Now, where is an entry point? Way up there. So, let's see here. Because the cargo bays aren't open. Jesus, things are aggressive. Uh, yes, if you're new to this game, those big chunks flying by will kill me. So, I'm gonna try to get this ship sort of lined up enough so I can get that door in. Oop. And the ladder rolls too off. Alright, and I think I can use Alt, yes. Alright, so we'll go forward a little bit. And this is just for my own protection, because things go horribly wrong in this game. And I just saw another, another one hit, hit wonder there. Okay, I think we should be good. Uh, I gotta stop doing that. I should rip my control key out. Okay. That's where I'm going. Let's go for it. No, this is scary. Okay, we made it. Now watch, there's gonna be a couple of turrets in here and they're gonna kill me instantly. All right, I think I can use a light because I have a feeling I'm gonna find a jetpack here. I really should avoid the drawers, I know. But let's see what we can find here. There should be something in this section, if anything. I hope anyways, because I don't have much. I did use one of the containers. Okay. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh, that goes to the rest of the station. Alright. We'll look through here first. In the usual spots. In the lockers. And on the floor. And the drawers. And up here. And it's starting to look like somebody already ransacked the place. Again, I'm wondering if it's got to do with the fact that it's a uh, whole story aspect. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But, I do see something I can steal here. I don't know if I should take it, though. Oh, hey. One of these loot box. What do we got? Nothing. Ah, that's a shame. Every once in a while, you do find stuff. Uh, I have thought about taking the nanite core, but that might be a bad idea in a debris field because then the ship becomes vulnerable. Alright, we have that way, and we have this way. Well, let's go this way first. Yeah, those things are actually keeping this thing from blowing up right now. So that's always a good thing. Oh, what do we have here? Decoration, nothing. We do have gravity, though. That's always a good thing. Uh, again, more nanite cores. I don't want to be taking anything I don't need. Or anything that's actually keeping me alive. And... I know I can be doing that. It'd be so much easier. Okay. What's in here? A cargo bay. Hello. Is there a turret? No. Alright, let's see if we can find anything. It's a data pad. Okay, whatever. Take that, that. Ooh, a helmet. Hey, we're finding stuff. Suit. Uh, put the suit back. Jetpack. Uh, doo -doo -doo. It's like shopping at a thrift mart, uh, thrift store. Uh, no jetpack. Take that. Maybe we've got something upstairs. Nothing. We took the boxes out of here, too. There's a quest marker, I'm not going to worry about that. And they used to have a warp box, warp cell, warp drive box here. But yeah, all the boxes are taken out. What else did I leave here? Another pistol, don't care. Oh, more oxygen. And I might as well use it. Oh, that was all RCS fuel. Okay, fine. Oh, that doesn't go there. Uh, there we go. Actually, what else was in, still in there? Nitro. What do I have on me? You know what? Let's put this back. 
or use it. One of the two. Either way, I have room for that now. That works. Good. Nothing else here. And nothing in the box. No. Ooh. Uh, does me no good. I was going to fill up my jetpack, but that ended up killing me. Alright, let's go see what's upstairs. See if they give us anything. Yeah, charging the suit's going to be top priority. And nothing. Wow, you cheap bastards. Alright, let's head back downstairs. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Meanwhile, everything's getting pelted by the meet uh, debris right now and yeah uh, that's it we got a little bit of oxygen at least all right so we go back to the fork in the road uh, which way did i come from i came from that way so we were this way then hello fabricator oh what's this Oh, we have to scan stuff now? Oh, really? Well, that's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, what's in there? Oxygen. Please. Anything else? Nope. Nothing. No jetpack. No. That's to recycle stuff. That's this. And it's not letting me access that. That's a shame. All right, uh, that's empty, so we can throw that. Oh, okay, it does work. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Fabricator. Uh, can we actually make a jetpack? Uh, I wonder if I can actually get away with this. Uh, I'm hoping. Uh, what do I have to recycle? Not a whole lot. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get much for that helmet. Yeah, I was standing on that thing. Let's find out. Okay, make sure that's actually not the helmet I'm wearing. Oh, that's researching. Then what is this? This must be the de deconstructor. Then. I'm gonna say so. Mm, that looks fun. Uh, okay, what did you give? I like that. That's really cool. Not enough. Nickel, iron, and carbon fibers now. Interesting. All right, well, we're not making a jetpack anytime soon. Not with this place. Uh, leave the stim pack, and there is nothing else. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, no, that's not an openable one. Come on, let me through. Stupid doors. Thank you. All right, so I went back this way. Nope. And uh, let me see here. Now, which way did I come from here? That way. I can tell because the door was open, the thing was open. And this just takes me outside. Well, that was interesting. I haven't found anything usable. Other than a little bit of oxygen. Another data pad, I don't care. Alright, well, that is that. Nothing on the cargo there. So, I guess I'll bring you back at the next module. Okay, we've come, come up to a residential area. So let's see what we have here. And I'm actually wondering if it's possible, if there's an outpost on here, if I can actually just disconnect it from this whole section, just take it with me. Because right now, if I can get an outpost, I'm set. And then at least I got a, a place to be supportive. What is going on with the red on the... Oh, wow. 
That ran out awfully quick. Yeah, let's. Okay, why can this not come out? Oh, there we go. It's not as good of armor, but at least it has a lot more life to it. See, there we go, it lasts a lot longer. Two days, 11 hours, and 34 minutes. All right, now the question is, will I last that long? Let's find out. Oh, this is an outpost. Oh, is it usable? Is it usable? Uh, I overshot it again. Oh, that was a close one. That one that bounced off there would have killed me for sure. All right, let's get in here before something hits me. Whew. All right, anything good in here? Um... Uh, I do need a welder too, and that's going to be an issue. But I'm hoping that this is the outpost and it's actually in good condition and that I can take it. No, it's a life support module. Got another helmet. Another data pad. Okay, this is all quest stuff, so I don't think I'll be able to take this. Uh, distress call. Yeah, this is all ruined to hell. Uh, nothing of interest in here. I'm gonna die. I can't find anything. Hmm. Interesting. Like, I haven't seen any modules except for the stations. Unless I'm just looking in the wrong places. Not 100% uh, sure. I like that, even the t detail of uh, the broken plexiglass on there. Alright, and nothing in here by the looks of it. Now, if you hear an explosion, that's probably my ship. At least I hope not. Alright, and now for this door. Which I was already in. So then I guess I'm going, I guess I'm going this way. Or does this take me back to the life support? I'm lost. Gravity. Well, maybe I haven't been here yet. Oh, what do we have down here? Oh, I have to. And I have it on me. Thank you. Thank you. And where is it? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, F, not click. Uh, of course, nothing in here. And no jetpack, come on, what a waste. I can't even get in there, you bastards. It's nice to get all these resources, but I got no way to actually resource them. Can I not get that? And what do we have here? More oxygen. Good. I'm actually glad I cleaned out my inventory on the ship. And nothing in here. Okay. That was a waste of time and a waste of a hacking tool. Alright, did I go down this door? I have no idea. I think I did. Yes, I actually came out that door. And this takes us back outside, and I see a warp cell, and more oxygen. Okay, this was not a waste of time. Unless it's a dead warp cell. Again, I'm not going to worry about the data pad. Oh, there was a pistol in there. I was trying to open the drawer, but there was a pistol in there instead. And we might as well take the clip. Why not? We'll go have fun with the, some turrets one day. Hmm. Uh, nothing. Nothing much. No jetpack. That's what I really need because power is going to be an issue. Uh, so, what I'm going to do. Uh, 
is I'm gonna work my way back to the ship and see how long I've been recording for. Well, that's interesting because this is, this is a civilian tier and not a military tier. It's a green armor instead of red armor. I like that. Anyways, uh, I am back on here. Anyways, we still do have a little bit of time in this video if I am recording. Okay, I just hit the recording key just in case. In case you just started. Okay, I have definitely got to get a welder here. Oh, and I got to remember to hit the right key. Yes, yes, yes. Wrong button, BC. Anyway, um, hmm. that out of my hand okay why is it not let me pilot the seat because I had a gun in my hand apparently early access by the way if you are new well I have a feeling I'm not gonna find what I want, need around here so maybe I might have to go somewhere else Okay, that's where we just were. And then we have these minor asteroids. Well, let me see here. Either we're out of the debris field or we're dead. But I want to see if we can find something. Because most of the stuff we're going to find is actually going to be in the debris field. So let's go like this. And what was the other one? Yeah, I thought there was oh there we go yeah try to match or try to match the debris field a little bit and we'll just go on the outskirts if I can where is it it's there I'm hitting the wrong slider am I oh it should be fine where am I I have no idea I'm up there okay Sure, you have line of sight. Okay, good. I'll meet you there. Alright, still working our way there. Um, could have a problem. Uh, if you look on the left there where the warning is, uh, there's the gears. Uh, if you look at my battery power, battery power is going down. I have a feeling my solar panel is broken and I don't have a, I don't have a welder to fix it. So this could be a bit of an issue here. Might have to try to make it back to contingency and call another ship. Send this one adrift. Maybe. Uh, I was also thinking too, I might have to end up going to. I think Burner was civilian. So yeah, I might have to go there to actually find what I'm looking for. But let's see if we can actually find anything around here. There is really nothing spawning. Or am I really in the wrong area? I have no idea. It's interesting. Dude, that's where we were. So it's almost like I'd have to head out to Burner or Broken Marble. Everest, I think, was industrial. But uh, I think Broken Marble's militaries would be Burner I'd have to go to. But yes, I am out of power. My solar panels are damaged. Solar panel system failure, and guess what? I don't have a welder. So this could be an issue. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Once again, I have failed. I probably should have gone and cleared out all that industrial area, all those areas out there, like the... There was an industrial area there. There was an engineering area there. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. So it looks like this is going to be yet another do-over. Yeah, look at that. And that was one for me flying through the debris fields and two not realizing that the, the nanites ran out because I spent too much time in the debris field. They are not making this easy. But... Yeah, considering the fact that I have no way to generate power with this thing right now, and I don't think there's anything, anything, anything at all near me. Uh, it looks like it's going to be another fresh start. And, yep, yeah, that's what it's going to be. Uh, 
gonna next one we're gonna start over again this time I'm gonna actually go and explore everything around there make sure I have a welding tool make sure that I have searched every section that doesn't have a command module attached with rogue turds that are gonna shoot me when I'm on my last breath but anyways I thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and I'll see you in the next one later <laughs>